Uh oh. <laughs> what is that noise? Yeah, something is not right on this Kaniwaba. Something broke. Yeah, this uh, this chain broke. Well, it's not gonna make any noise because I lost it. My Kawi Baba, my Kini Baba, Kiwi Baba chain has fallen. So here's the damage on the Kaniwaba chain. So the inside link, as you can see, it's not as strong as the outside link. It's made that way. And it, even though it's rounded up so the chain can go through the guides properly, it might uh, not be able to handle the very, very high speed that this is uh, spinning at. The good news is that it looks like bicycle chain. So I could scavenge this old bicycle chain and just make myself multiple of these. So we're gonna break this one again, push that pin out. So what we got now, we got a chain is exactly the same length as it was before. So we're gonna rematch it, but it's exactly the same length as it was before. So now we're gonna put it on the bike and see what's gonna happen. So obviously you always wonder, did I do something wrong? So this is the alignment on the sprockets. As you can see, it's pretty damn straight. So this is why it broke. Even at version three, here's the problem, you see? So the way that they designed this thing is that if you crank it on the shaft, if you catch it the wrong way, because there's so much play in here, you are going to have the teeth not aligning properly. So then they're gonna eat up the chain. The same on this side, you see? Look, see, so that, that hole is too big. So even at version three, they definitely have, have, have points of failure. So this is quite disappointing um, design because you can't really see very well when you work over there. You wanna make sure that it's, it's perfectly aligned like this, because if it's like this, and the teeth are not aligned and it's gonna break your chain. Here's the problem. You see how, how my tools are like just jammed in there? This side of the sprocket, I got it pretty, pretty lined up, but I cannot put my finger in there to feel that edge. Make sure that the teeth are aligned and they are not. If you look like right over there, they're not aligned. The solution I came up with is like, if you find a split, now this is the other sprocket, it doesn't have a split, but just to, to be able to show you. If you find a split, then you're gonna put a screwdriver, so you, you're gonna put it in between the teeth and then just push this way, or put it on the other side and push this way until you align it, like the sprocket aligns perfectly and then tighten the bolt. But then good luck not moving left to right. So here I am on this other side. You feel this edge over here? So this tooth and this tooth are not aligned. But what I could do is I could put the, uh, the screwdriver in and hopefully move them so they align, oh, the entire thing moved. So after a good amount of time, I'm pretty okay with the alignment. As you can see, it's a little bit off too, but this side is good. And then if I spin it to the other side, this alignment is it's pretty spot on. So this side is even better. So this is as good as I could get it. Now, um, I can't move that thing anymore. So luckily I could, do a fine adjustment from this side to have the chain perfectly uh, aligned to that thing. And it's in, as aligned as I can be. Let's see how long it's gonna last this time. Because if you're looking from this side, it doesn't look aligned. If you're looking from this side, it doesn't look aligned. So is it aligned or is not aligned? That's a question for the millennia. So the Sir Arnold Segway, it's legal now. Pedal kit, echo mode, so we are in, 750 watts and limited to 20 miles an hour. Now we could go on any trail. Single track on the Kaniwabas. Actually, they don't feel that bad. And what I really like about them is that when you turn, you can lift your foot up so he doesn't get trapped. So compared to the motorcycle pegs, with your feet are in a fixed position, these, you can, uh, you can lift in a turn. Like I lift my left foot in a left turn and I lift my right foot in a left and a right turn. So uh, I'm not exposed to the rocks. Actually, this is an advantage. So far, I like this better. See right now, I'm the other way around. Now I'm the other way around. So the only thing that I regret about these Kaniwabas is uh, buying that uh, link, the chain link. To make it legal, I had to, but it's useless. It's absolutely useless. 
And this is mountain bike speed down the hill, so mountain bikers go as, as fast as I am right now. You know, I'm just using the downhill part. I am using a little bit of a throttle, I have to admit. But I'm using a lot more brakes, so. Yeah, this bike, one of the disadvantages is it doesn't roll. So, this bike doesn't roll because it has so much engine brake. Doesn't roll like a mountain bike. So a mountain bike gets a lot more speed down the hill, where this one is an engine brake, so that's why you have to use a throttle. But uh, if I go down here with a normal mountain biker, I can guarantee you he would, uh, like a good guy, it will be quite fast. Except that I could compensate with power. Suspension is good on this bike. This is nice. These Kaniwabas are not bad. Except that I still have the uh, reflex to, <laughs> to pedal. Like from the e-bike. I feel like I want to pedal. But <laughs> it's just... It's just completely empty, there's nothing in there because you're going too fast for it to make a, a difference. But it's legal. And gear-wise, I don't think it's a lot less gear than a mountain bike in its lowest. Like, you know those mountain bikers that go like three miles an hour up a hill? I think it's geared about that. But that's not... Considering the weight of this bike, uh, it's impossible to pedal anywhere. Hey, you know what's fair is fair. Uh, if you run out of battery, you're not gonna pedal. Might as well just push. But most, most mountain bikers that I see might as well just push instead of pedal because they'll be faster walking. They're just proud of their mountain bike, but... Yeah, I'm liking these Kaniwabas. I really like this, uh, the fact that uh, you could lift your foot in a turn. I really like this, you know, keep it away from danger. This is great. It feels a lot like a bicycle. Now, and because I have experience with a bicycle, I know where to lift my foot up so it doesn't hit. You know, that's great. Like here, see? It's up. Here I turn it around. Right foot is up. Right foot is up. Left foot is up now. And then still left foot is up, and then right foot is up. That's, that's awesome. 